Hello, welcome. I'm so excited to introduce you to Dr. Anthony Cutting. He's a father, he's active in the community, and an, the owner and chiropractor at Active Chiropractic in Meridian. He is passionate about helping active, busy individuals and family eliminate pain injuries and optimize life performance. So I got the chance to meet Dr. Anthony because I heard of All Core 360. And as a mom who has had two kids, I've had ab separation, which led me to getting adjusted and learning more about balancing zones with the zone technique in chiropractic work. And I know that Dr. Anthony will share more about that. Today, I am excited for him to share his story because in our stories, it helps us to get to where we are now and it helps others to not feel so alone in life. And so, Dr. Cutting, the floor is yours. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and how you got to where you are. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity, Lacey. This is amazing uh, what you're doing for the community as well. So as you said, I am a chiropractor here already in Idaho. I've been in Idaho since June of 2021. My family and I relocated from Eugene, Oregon. I had a clinic out there for about seven years. I, I was a chiropractor for a decade in Oregon. We sold that clinic 2021, came out here looking for fresh start freedom, essentially better quality of life that fit with our family values. Uh, so we started over again, opened our current office in Meridian in May of 2022. And we've just been trying to get out and love and serve on the community ever since. I love that. It's so, I loved being able to, you know, have our first conversation with our first visit together, just hearing about how excited you are to be a part of this community. Um, one thing, if you are open to sharing, is just how did you decide to step into the chiropractic work? What's a little bit of your story of how you even got led down this road? No, absolutely. <clears throat> so I've got a very complex history, we'll say. I think led me in to where we are today with chiropractic. It all literally started before I was born. My, my dad started seeing a chiropractor. He had um, a genetic defect in his low back where he would have these episodes of debilitating low back pain uh, when he would go from being like a super healthy, fit, active guy um, and being able to do anything he wanted to do to just riding on the ground in pain. And so he dealt with this pattern where the back would go out, so to speak, multiple times a year until he discovered chiropractic and getting chiropractic care helped him with that. And so then years later, as you know, I was born, and my sister was born in our family, we started seeing chiropractors throughout our, our life. And so we, we were a family that utilized chiropractic to some extent. Um, and I'll talk more about that potentially later too. And um, we didn't do as much as I would recommend people do now, but we, we loved chiropractic. So that was kind of that foreshadowing. Now, fast forward to when I was born, I seen he was a healthy child at birth. But then when I was in my infancy and toddler years, I had multiple ear infections. And at that time, we didn't realize the bigger picture of chiropractic beyond just back pain, neck pain, crisis mode, so to speak. We didn't know it could do anything else. So my parents did what they thought was best and went to the pediatrician who gave me antibiotics. And then that only wiped out my poor little gut microbiome, which then decimated my immune system worse, leading to more ear infections and more by antibiotics. And we went round and round this cycle. And then finally got to the point when I was four years old that they said, well, we got to take them to like the ear, nose, throat specialist and some of these higher level allopathic, you know, traditional medical doctors. And so we went that route. They said, oh, well, you know, he uh, is actually almost completely deaf in both ears. And it's because his tonsils and adenoids are so enlarged, it's cutting off the ears and so we're going to do a surgery remove those put some tubes in the ears he's going to hear again and i think he'll be much better off so we went through that and you know they seemed to be right at first where i didn't have so many ear infections anymore my hearing you know, was back and actually i remember being four years old and it was frightening because the world was so loud after it had been silent for as long as i could remember um but they they thought i was good you know a normal healthy kid after that but there were some lingering issues looking back that I would get sick a couple times a year. And it, I thought everybody got sick the same way, but it would be this whole thing where my whole body would um, hurt, like horrible pain. I would get dizzy, out of control, just be vomiting and get really just nasty sick. Um, I thought everybody did that when I got sick because I was a kid. Wow. But I think there were yeah. some lingering problems. 
So then as I go through that though, you know, we thought I was pretty healthy. Um, then when I was 15 years old, I actually lost the hearing in my left ear pretty suddenly. And so at that point in time, even though we knew of chiropractic, I actually wanted to be in the military. I wanted to be a fighter pilot and airline pilot, go to the Air Force Academy or the Naval Academy, but losing my hearing, couldn't do the military route anymore. So that led me into, okay, well, we like chiropractic. Let me pursue this instead. So that was kind of the starting point for that. And then went into college, undergrad, chiropractic school, and, and went on from there. And then, well, I'm sure we'll get deeper into my, my career after that. Just that's something, you know, I personally have actually have gone through the medical system um, to the point where I had the tubes in my own ear. I have some hearing loss in my right side of my ear and then also dealt with like tonsils and all of that in and out of the hospital as a young age. I talk to my mom now, like I wish we would have known about the chiropractor and just honestly, just another way to help heal and, and work the body. Cause I believe that our bodies are meant to heal itself. I meant that they're not meant to attack themselves. They are truly just this beautiful gift is just helping to support Jeez. our body. And so hearing that that's what kind of took you on to this journey, it shows in the way that you have your practice set up. And that's just coming from my own experience of being able to come in and see just one, like how you have everything set up, the way you are so intentional with your patients. I remember walking out of my first appointment with you and I'm like, I have never experienced this before, especially in the medical field, but let alone even in, in my journey through finding a chiropractor, like you sat down and you listened and you shared a part of your story and you were willing to just be so open of what brought you to where you are. I am so excited that you are in Idaho and in Meridian because the impact you're gonna have on this community and that you are having in this community and on lives is, it's like a ripple effect that I don't think we'll ever get to see how far it goes. Oh, thank you so much. I think, well, for my listeners, just because I, you know me, I talk about all core. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what got me into the door. So I would love to hear, where did you find Alcor? How did you find Alcor? Why did you bring Alcor into your practice? Because I feel like that has been such a game changer as a mom and someone who has had back issues and neck issues and lost a lot of her strength after pregnancy. Share more about Alcor because I know so many people have questions about it. Absolutely. So discovering the Alcor really came from my passion for serving two demographics. On the one hand, there are the athletic active population. Mm -hmm. I love working with athletes of all ages or just people that live an active lifestyle. But then going back to my own story and just in general, having being a father, having children, I love treating families. So working with mamas throughout their whole pregnancy and then with baby comes taking care of the little ones from day one so they can have the right start in life and hopefully get under regular chiropractic care and have a much better quality of life than I experienced with what I shared with you previously. Uh, gives many families under chiropractic care to be healthier, living up an optimal quality of life from the get-go. So working with the little ones, and then as they, as they grow up, you know, taking care of the kids as they get into sports and everything else, but then taking care of mama postpartum. Mom's bodies go through a lot during the pregnancy process, right? And so, when, you know, what happens is, the belly grows it naturally you have to have to split apart but then a huge thing that occurs postpartum as you well know is this diastasis recti where unfortunately mm -hmm. the abs do not fully come back together again and there is now a gap that's left and therefore the core is weak and this really affects moms and you can you can speak to this you've told me how anything from incontinence issues to you know back pain hip pain neck pain you know just not happy with the appearance of your stomach the self-consciousness the and just not being able to get back into this active lifestyle as well as they previously could have, you know, prior to having children, especially if they've had multiple kids and if the diastasis is there, it just really, really affects these ladies' lives. And so it's bringing it there, these active mamas and helping them find a solution to get back to being the best version of themselves for their kids, for themselves, for their lives. And so the All Core 360 can serve both athletes in general, helping strengthen the core the low back, helping them avoid injury, uh, perform better, move better, function better. But then again, it's huge 
hugely impactful for the diastasis issues you non-surgically poly mills back together if that exists as well. So that's kind of what the all core in a nutshell does and, and why I was interested in it. And now as far as discovering it, when I was back in Eugene, I happened to have the opportunity to be mentored by uh, a gentleman, Dr. Brett Demard, and he was for many years the head of the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. So he was okay. there for Beijing, London, Rio, and then he retired from that, moved to all places, Eugene, Oregon, and we connected because I had that interest in athletics and I've served athlete thing. So I met with him, mentored under him on a number of levels, but he was introduced to all core 360 from all his contacts in the sports world. And he experienced it himself, checked it out, said, okay, you need to do this because it's, it's going to be a game changer for your athletes and the active population, the mamas and everyone else that you love serving. And he was right. So I was going to edit when I was in Eugene, but then life changed. We moved to Idaho. I put the brakes on it until we got to Idaho. And then we officially got it here in Idaho and we're you know, the first in Idaho to have you all for 360. Yeah. I mean, my friend drove two hours to come see you. <laughs> yeah. I have so many women who are like, wait, where do I go? And I'm like, yeah, you're gonna have to come visit me. Yeah. Which is like, I didn't realize how many women speaking from, I mean, I have an athletic background and I just can see how all core just from the athletic side, I couldn't believe how much taller I stood up and how much stronger I felt. And being an athlete that feels so good. You're just like, Whoa, like you're not going to get this anywhere else. You cannot do a plank long enough. You can't do side stuff from standing just because of how the, how the all core works with you sitting and actually being able to tilt at a certain angle. I think from my experience with the all core has been insane. I feel like I got my life back. Awesome. Because of something that you have provided for our community. And as a mom who I used to do CrossFit, I used to run, I used to do all of these things. You could barely run with her kids because I would pee my pants or I had incontinence. And then just feeling like, where did my strength go? Like, I, it doesn't matter how hard I work out. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. There's this strength that is gone from me. And I actually was really surprised when I came in to see you and you told me I had like a three and a half split. I don't know how you would even say it. Like the gap was much larger than I would have ever imagined, but it all made sense because there was just this strength that was lost. And to be able to, I, I did a, for the, some people who may have seen like that Instagram video that I had done on just being able to jump at the trampoline park, like that has been the first time in nine years or 10 years of being a mom that I've been able to actually participate and jump with my kids with no issue. And to me, that's like me being able to be a mom in the capacity and the way that I've always dreamed of being a mom, Absolutely. running around with them, playing with them, being with them. And so anyone who listens, like you have to come in to, yeah. <laughs> to come see and do the all core 360 Absolutely. because it gave my life back and I'm so grateful for it. Amazing. Like so grateful. So I love that. The coolest part is I started off with all core and seeing you mm -hmm. and my body actually started during that time. I was going through a really stressful time. So I, that's when I started getting vertigo or had some stuff going on. And that's where I'm like, okay, let's get some chiropractic work done. Mm -hmm. And so this is where I've been introduced to the zoning technique that you use in your chiropractic work. And so if you could share a little bit more of that technique. Yeah. So we'll kind of pick up the story I was talking about earlier with my own journey, right? I mentioned I lost a hearing when I was 15, switched over to the career in chiropractic. But apart from that hearing loss, again, we thought I was relatively healthy for the next six years or so. Then when I was 21, you know, literally a few months after I'd just gotten married and my poor wife were newlyweds and all of a sudden her husband's health falls apart just to pieces. I went through just over a decade period after that through my whole twenties were a nightmare where I progressively got sicker and sicker. Anything from migraine headaches, digestive issues to vertigo out of control. That was, I mentioned I had that occasionally as a child, but it became a, just a chronic very regular thing and I would have joint pain, muscle pain, just felt like I got hit by a truck at high speed, but I, I had not been in any car accidents, no known yeah. injuries, right? Um, just brain fog, horrible chronic fatigue. And 
I would sort of go into every type of provider under the sun I could think of. I tried every style of chiropractic. I did acupuncture, mm-hmm. physical therapy, um, you know, I massage. I did, I even went back down the allopathic road and I was willing to try, you know, prescription medications, experimental surgeries. Um, and some things would help. I did all the diets that exist out there. I, you know, I'm, I'm an expert in nutrition only because I had to try every single one of them. And some things would help to an extent, but really I was ultimately getting worse and worse. And you talk about that life effect of, I couldn't be the husband I needed to be. I couldn't be the father I needed to be. I couldn't be the doctor I needed to be. Here I am trying to run a practice and serve patients, tell them, you know, your body's amazing. You can heal, but yet I was just a mess. So I always was still trying though, you know, I, I wasn't going to give up because I truly do believe, as you said, like we can heal, get here with the right conditions. I knew that was true. I just had to figure out how. So 2017, I somehow, this is the most random thing ever, but a Facebook like ad popped up for the zone technique of chiropractic. And even though I was a chiropractor five years into my career, I didn't learn this in school. I hadn't heard about it, but again, I'm like, I'm trying everything. So I reached out to the guy, Dr. Peter Goldman, who founded zone technique. And he was just in the process of launching what he called the zone school of healing. And he was starting to teach other chiropractors the zone technique. Now zone therapy actually started in 1932, a Dr. Thurman Fleet in San Antonio, Texas. He was the original founder of zone therapy. Dr. Goldman learned from the guys that learned from Dr. Fleet and tweaked it slightly to make zone technique, but it's essentially what Dr. Fleet founded way back in the thirties. And he picked up the torch because it was dying out only because chiropractic was starting to get boxed into the mainstream medical world of neck pain, back pain, you know, musculoskeletal, but talking about the holistic side of healing the body, like that was not popular anymore and it's not covered by insurance. And so doctors were going away from it, but yet we were losing out on this incredible power that we had to help people heal and be well. So Dr. Pete, he he didn't care about insurance. He said, oh, this is more important. I'm going to pick it up and and get this back out there. So it was perfect timing. That's why he was running the ads to attract chiropractors more than patients. I mean, he was seeing tons of people and doing miraculous things already. But I started learning from him, became one of his first official students. Um, and now there's like thousands and thousands worldwide. But I learned from him and I got treated by him. He was in San Francisco at the time. I was in Eugene. I literally would drive down, you know, nine hours to see him. He would adjust me three times over the course of a weekend. I would drive home and we would, we would repeat this process a couple times a month due to the distance, but I, I was religious with that and I got better each and every time I started healing, I was getting better and better and better. Everything healed with the exception of, I didn't regain the hearing in my left ear. So I do wear a cochlear implant. So there's a time and a place for medical intervention. I believe that's true. Technology is amazing, but everything else healed. I'm, I myself, again, I've got my energy, my health, I'm active. I, I can serve patients. I can serve my wife, my kids, like. That's everything. And that I'm now able to share that with others because I've learned this own technique. Oh, that is so amazing. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. How incredible. Like I totally believe in like divine timing, like the, even the ads and utilizing social media that, you know, there's the right timing that when I needed the most, I heard about all core that led me to getting work done with you that has completely shifted my health. And so the fact that you were able to respond to that ad, and now you get to bring it to the community. Can you share a little bit more about, like, I know my experience with coming in with you guys, which we can talk about to paint a picture for anyone who's like, oh my gosh, but what does it feel like to come in to see a chiropractor? But when you do the zone technique, what does that involve? I know that there's six zones, Mm -hmm. right? Can you share a little bit about, like, zone one through six, kind of what they pinpoint and what you're working on when you work on which zone. Absolutely. Yeah. So the premise, basic premise of zone technique is that essentially any injury, illness, dysfunction in the body gets traced back to this imbalance or this dysfunction of one or more of six functional neurologic brain centers called the zones of the body. And when these systems are not balanced, the brain is not balanced. Two things touch as they happen. Number one, the brain is not able to accurately analyze, assess, and coordinate what's happening in your body. Number two, even if it could do that, it's not getting clear, strong signals to and from the body 
to make the necessary changes to help your body adapt to day-to-day stress, to heal, if healing needs to take place, to regulate everything, whether it's the muscles, the organs, it, it just can't do that. So we, with the zone technique, we're going to identify which systems are unbalanced and then balance them and stabilize when we set them over the course of working together. So there's six points at the back of the head um, that are along what's called the superior nuchal line, and they are indicators. The commensus fibers that indicate which zone is unbalanced. Typically, a patient will start face down in most cases, as you know, and I will be pressing with a finger onto these six points. And I discover on my end which one feels hard or almost like a, a knuckle pushing on my knuckle here. And you as the patients will know that one or two of them are more painful or tender, so to speak, than the other mm-hmm. ones. That's the most unbalanced that I need to work on. And then each zone has specific points along the spine that I need then need to stimulate with my adjustments that relate to that zone in question. So for example, zone one of the body, it's in part of the brain called the cerebellum and it controls all the glands in our body. So it's literally the part of the brain that regulates our thyroid gland, our pineal gland for sleep, our adrenal glands, which are pumping out cortisol and other stress hormones, right? Um, Our pancreas is a gland that regulates blood sugar. We have these glands that control our reproductive hormones, estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, right? There's glands that help with digestion. So we're going to work on that one. If it's unbalanced, I need to balance that part of the cerebellum. I'm going to do so by stimulating these four points on the spine, C1 at the top of the neck, T1 where the neck meets the upper back, L1 where the mid back meets the low back, then S1 or called the sacrum, it's like the pelvis. So that's what I would stimulate with my adjustments. Now zone two is the part of the brain and the cerebrum that controls our elimination or detoxification pathways. So we live in a more toxic world than ever before. And so we're chronically inundated with chemicals in the environment. We all dealt with this horribly smoky summer, right? Both in our water supply, our food supply, I mean, just everywhere. So this part of the brain is going to open up the detox pathways of your liver, your gallbladder, your kidneys, your digestion, your skin, your sinuses, your lungs, right? Help you detox properly. Now, zone three is a part of the brain also in the cerebrum that controls your fight or flight or your sympathetic nervous system versus the parasympathetic is the side that helps us rest and heal and recover. And how many of us are just running, go, 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 you're busy moms, busy people, business professionals, or just like we're light and all, yep. I mean, we're in fight or flight. So we're going to calm that back down. Zone four is a part of the brain, it's called the fourth ventricle. It controls all the digestive apparatus. So it's a bit of overlap with zones two and one as far as the digestive system, the liver, things like that, right? But you mm-hmm. open that up. So if someone has chronic food sensitivities, digestive issues, IBS, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, you know, the list goes on and on, whatever you want to call it. It's just basically a breakdown of the digestive system and the brain not communicating. Now zone five is a part of the brain also in the cerebellum, but specifically the motor cortex. It controls all the muscles and soft tissue. So this is like where most chiropractors live is called the musculoskeletal, the back pain, the neck pain, the helping with mobility and movement, which is awesome, but it's only one part of the entire whole <laughs> body. And so zone six last is the part of the brain, what's called the caudate nuclei. It controls blood flow and circulation. So this is anything with you know, not enough blood flow to certain areas. We got to bring more to it. Other areas too much, maybe they're inflamed or someone has a lot of issues with swelling blood pressure issues or migraine headaches are a big one. Too much blood's getting trapped in the head, not enough yeah. going out to the extremities. So all the time I hear men and women, they, oh, I get awful migraines and I have cold hands and feet all the time in the winter. Like that oftentimes is on six problem. Wow. Yeah. Do you find that like new patients that are coming in, that there are certain zones that you are always working on at first or is everyone just so unique and different? I would say both. Everyone is unique and different, but there definitely are patterns that arise. And okay. patterns, when I see them, can happen one of two things. Number one, it could be oftentimes a zone two or three because people are chronically stressed and we're chronically just like toxic, right? So we got to clear yeah. that out. But the other reason why I might see a pattern is each zone also has an emotional tie. And honestly, the majority of what caused the body to get unbalanced is emotional mental stress, even more than the physical. And so each zone mm-hmm. has particular emotional stressors that can set it up. So if you as a patient, for example, are always popping up as a zone four and you're like, I don't feel like I have overt digestive issues, maybe a little bit, but like, that's not your main thing. Well, it could be a functional mm-hmm. problem. Maybe in your own life, you're 
you're struggling with anger, impatience, frustration. And so that's like the big part of it. A lack of forgiveness, for example, those are really common ones for zone four emotionally. And if you're just holding on to this or you're in a season of life where that's just always in your face, you're going to be zone four over and over and over and over until you get through the emotional aspect. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, I believe in that. The holistic, I joke and I'm going to say this, but like I like to take a whole ass approach to lie yeah. because it's true we try to like define that it's one thing that's happening to us and we just don't realize like the bigger picture it's a little bit of everything and i think when you share that using this zone technique is really coming back into helping support someone as a whole and i really love actually that well at least in my little world that I feel like a lot of people are coming back to this holistic health. They're coming back to that we are a whole human, right. that there is a whole lot more going on. So being able to take that approach and be able to, to serve people in that is amazing. And it's a, and so cool because you can say, I'm helping you with your body, but I also have you thought about, you know, anger, forgiveness, and, and really just being able to bring awareness. Cause I think so many people live a little bit in their head and cause there's so much going on. I know when I was seeing you, I had some stuff, but my main thing is my nervous system. And I was like, of course it's my nervous system. And I really need to come back and make another appointment because then that's actually something that I want to talk about as well is, you know, people get started, they start feeling better. Mm -hmm. And then I remember in your office or in one of the rooms, it's like, here's your path to healing. And then there's the lovely little path that so many of us take where we just start to feel better and then we fizzle out. Because some people I think get nervous. I'm going to start this and now I'm going to do this the rest of my life. And that can feel a little daunting. It can feel daunting financially. It can feel daunting just having to actually show up for themselves. What does that usually look like for a new patient who's coming in? They may start out a little bit I know I think I was coming once a week or twice a week if I could. And then you do slowly get into maintenance mode. Mm -hmm. What does that look like just to help give people this picture of like getting into a maintenance mode and how important that is? Uh, absolutely. So with any type of chiropractic zone technique or otherwise, you know, the basic premise is the body becomes dysfunctional due to stress, physical stress, whether that's big things like car accidents, slip and falls, mm -hmm. concussions, or whether it's more commonly these days, the accumulation of bad postures with our cell phones and text messaging all the time and laptops and computers, right? Um, there's the physical, right? And then the mental, emotional, we've touched on that. And then the chemical as well. All of that stress, our body is bombarded by day after day after day. And that's what causes us to get unbalanced and then in an unbalanced state. Um, our bodies start to lose that adaptive capacity to handle the stress. And then after we've been unbalanced for a period of time, usually a long period of time, that's when our body can't keep up. We develop pain, injury, illness, sickness, and then that's what brings us into the chiropractor. So whether it's me or somebody else. So usually those symptoms or those crises are something that occurs long after you've been in an unbalanced state. And so. You start care and as we start balancing and allowing the body to express its healing potential, cool thing of chiropractic, especially the zone technique, because it's a very powerful. People get results quickly. We start feeling that relief. The body is like, oh, I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to move better. This is awesome. We're on the right track. After that, we have to continue on to stabilize and correct. And this is really goes back to, especially with the zone, we're balancing the brain itself, something called neuroplasticity, where the course of time we learn habits, our brain forms these neural tracks to learn a skill or a habit. So for example, you know, if you are wanting to become an elite soccer player, you have to kick the ball, you know, practice, 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 or an elite piano player. How many times are you playing and practicing? And when you're doing that, you are rewiring the brain to learn this skill. You've done the same thing where your body has tried to adapt to stress and it, it, it's breaking down over time. You're learning bad habits of posture. You're learning bad thinking patterns, you're learning all these negative patterns too in the brain. And then we start balancing them as you start care, you're starting to get relief and feel better, but we have not broken down the old patterns and we haven't retrained the new neurologic patterns yet. So if we stop early on, then things come right back because we're, we're going to more easily go back to the old bad habits that we, we were more used to. 
So that's why I recommend short-term people do uh, what I call an initial care plan to take the time, not just to get the relief, which usually happens a few visits, a few weeks in, but then continue on to get things to balance and stabilize long-term. And that might be eight weeks. That might be 12 weeks of regular care. Usually, as you said, we might start a couple times a week and then we taper down the frequency as you go. Maybe we're once a week towards the end of that eight week, 10 week, 12 week period. But we take the time to really retrain things neurologic. Now, adding to that, you know this by being in our clinic. I also have to not just balance and stabilize things neurologically with the zone, but then I need to also help you address some of the stressors that are causing you to become unbalanced. So we teach the rehab exercises to teach you to move better, to help with the posture. That's where the all core comes in. We do sessions with that because that takes time to pull the, the diastasis and back together again, right? So we need to pull that together. So that takes time as well. And hopefully by the end of this, say 10, 12 weeks, you are in an amazing place to our lodge, your balance, you're feeling great functioning, but you've also learned this tips with the rehab to move better, feel better, take control of your health. You've pulled together diastasis if you had that going on. So that's the initial. And then lastly, finishing up with more of the maintenance side, like beyond that, well, you're still going out into the world and we're still going to get stressed out. We're still going to be subjected to chemicals. We're still going to have a slip and fall that happens, or we're all still using our digital devices. Even if I've given you all these resources and balanced you, you're going to break down again if you go a really long time without care again. So I recommend maintenance, but the cool thing is at that point, maybe it's once or twice a month. Um, and you're able to maintain an amazing quality of life. Wow. You touched on that, and I want to go a little bit further because I don't think I had any idea what I was getting myself into with my first appointment. I'm used to, like, you go in, you get cracked, see you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I came in, and we did the photos. We did the let's just get a basis of where you're at. Let's hear about your health history I felt so seen. I felt hurt. Then we had our first adjustment. And then we got to see Stuart, who is your dad. Yeah. And I love that your family works there because it makes me so happy. And that is where I had no idea that there were chiropractors out there that went even further, right? You have the, is it the laser treatment yeah, that you can do that's going to help with like inflammation? Or do you want to share a little bit about the laser treatment? Yeah. Or I guess, well, let me finish this one thought, but we did the laser treatment and then we had the rehab part, the stretching, the patches that you put on, everything to help support your body. And the fact that I got to come home with a piece of paper that's like, hey, watch these videos on our YouTube. I love that because it's not just a quick come in. We'll see you next week. It is truly helping people change their lives. Mm -hmm and being able to then also do that at home so that when they are coming to see you, maybe they don't have to come 25 times to get the results they could in 15. I'm totally making up numbers here, but like 15 times because they're also doing their exercises at home. They also have this like added on support. And I was completely blown away by that. Like, I'm like, who, who even knew that this was a thing? And maybe it's just because I wasn't finding the right support that I needed. But I would love for you to share a little bit more about the, I know you guys offer massage. I know you offer those patches. I think they're the LifeWave patches, which I think are super cool. The All Core, which we talked about, and then the laser. Like, what made you add in all of that to your care? Yeah, well, you hit the nail on the head with what you said is that I want to get people the best results possible as quickly as possible. And then I want to really partner with you on your healing journey to empower you to have tools to take care of yourself long term and not need us as, as frequently. Yes, as I mentioned, with this toxic, stressful world we're in, absolutely recommend continued care. But what oftentimes happens with chiropractic in general, I love it so much, but like traditional chiropractic is just by itself without these other modalities. It takes a lot longer to get the initial results in healing. You're looking at maybe six, nine months you're starting three times a week for the first three months and then twice a week for the next three months. And it's, it's a lot of visits. They're short, they're quick visits. It's just an adjustment and you're done. But mm -hmm. still, that's a long time to get the same results I can get in a much shorter period of time by including 
the all core, the laser, the rehab, the massage work, right? All these other things get you results that much faster. And then the power of the zones, it just, it's the best technique I've come across in chiropractic for healing. And then to answer your question of class four deep tissue laser in particular, there's, there's four classes of lasers. Zero is no medical benefits. Four is the top level of medical, but it's basically intended to use a certain frequency of light that has healing effects in the body to decrease inflammation, stimulate blood flow, getting, getting that healing process started, you know, uh, helping the body lay down healthy collagen. So breaking up scar tissue and then laying down like a you know, proper soft tissue that moves better and stronger and healthier. And that, that's what we do. So we use the laser early on with the adjustments to help people get those results faster, feel better sooner and heal quicker. I just, I don't know. I obviously I'm going to, I'm like your biggest cheerleader, not necessarily the only cheerleader, but I feel like I'm a huge cheerleader in what you're doing because what you said I'm all about helping people feel empowered in their life, like women taking responsibility of their life, feeling empowered in their health, because I know what it feels like to go to a doctor and then look at me and say, my skin was crazy. My hair was falling out. I literally looked gray and they're like, nothing's wrong with you. Here's your medication, like here's some depression and, and anxiety medication. I walked out of the hospital that day and I was like, I have no other choice but to advocate for myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm with you on there's a time and a place. Both my kids have been life flighted for medical emergencies that I'm very grateful for the medical world in that. Yes. But when someone's sitting there saying nothing is wrong with you and I'm not even able to function as a mom and then to having to say, well, I have to fight for myself. I have to figure out my own health because no one's helping me. And it's the same for you, right? You you played the long game to get to where you are to now create a practice and a service for people who are now empowered in their health. Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you, I've walked out of your office and I can't not talk about you at the park with moms. And I can't not talk about you to the people on the street. Like, I think in one day, one person was came from some valley to come do all the core and do work with you. And then right after that, a girl I had met at the park the weekend before, she's like, I have my first appointment. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, because that's what you guys provide. And I'm just seeing from like a woman's perspective, someone who can feel so empowered as a woman and being able to get her life back so I can be a wife and I can be the mom that I wanna be and I can be the friend that I wanna be. Uh, I can go on walks and I'm like, oh my gosh, I stand up straighter. I'm not so slouched. My neck doesn't hurt. I don't have migraines all month long. And so that's what you're doing. You guys are so empowering in the way from the moment you walk in and just the way that you've set up your space and to make it just feel so home and so comfortable into being seen and heard in your appointments. And then that aftercare, which you walk out being like, oh, okay, like I'm taking charge of my health and there is the light at the end of the tunnel. Because when you're in a health crisis and you feel terrible and it's just so dark and you feel so lonely sometimes, to know that you're taking these steps forward and you're actually seeing the results and then you feel empowered on top of that, that's like life changing for someone. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I love that you shared that. I mean, that's exactly what it is. And it's kind of tying back to even your previous question about doing maintenance care, you know, investing initially and then investing lifelong in your thing. Yes, there's financial concern and things of that nature, but the empowerment that you get, the, you said, the, the life effects of being the best mom, the best wife, the best you to function better, that to me is what is mm -hmm. worth everything, right? And so it really comes down to just like anything else, if that is something that you value and that is important to you in life, then find a way to make regular chiropractic care and the care that we do together part of your, your budget, so to speak. I mean, it's not doable for everybody, but I think most people can if we really look back and say, like, do we value this or do we value having the fanciest car but being super sick? Or do we value getting a Starbucks every day and over being healthy? You got to find what's valuable. And if this is valuable, then it, we try our best to make it affordable for people as best we can. And again, just comes back to what's most important to you in life. And that's what we want to help you get to. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I remember being 
walking out of the doctor and in this in that season season of life, I feel like, you know, the next step was given to me. I can't remember if it I think it was something online that I had looked at and it it was this idea of like, what's your health worth? Like, what is your health worth? And I know both sides of it. I know what it feels like to be sitting on my couch having to turn the TV on for my kids because I can't function during the day. And now I know what it feels like to be a whole lot more present and a whole lot more like the mom and have the energy because like you said, the work that you do is a whole approach to your body. And it has helped me to feel my neck feels better. My back feels better. My core feels tighter, but I also have energy and I love what you do. <laughs> Real quick, in your office, you guys do offer massages, correct? Uh -huh. Is there two? I know right now, and I don't know how long that will be. You have one person in there full time, but you also have an intern right now? Yep. So we have two full time massage therapists. Uh, okay. And they're typically doing 60 minute sessions of various styles. Um, that they, they do. And then the intern that you mentioned, it's a partnership we're doing with Carrington College locally and the massage therapy program. And we've been hosting an intern who's introduced a, a new service that I'm very excited about. And it's what I call my muscle reset. So these are okay. more fully clothed uh, and they're 10 to 15 minute sessions of muscle work or myofascial release or things like cupping, other myofascial mm. release techniques. So for a busy mom, she can come in. She's like, I would love to get some extra work on my neck or my shoulders or my hip. I don't have time for the 60 minute massage. We're going to pop in, get the zone adjustment, get your 10 minute muscle reset and get you back on your busy day. Maybe ride the all core as well. And all that, even if you have the all core in, that's going to be under a half hour and you're back on mm -hmm. and you're just in an amazing place and you're taking the next step to thriving as we've been discussing. So that's something I'm very excited about. And we're looking to essentially hire on this intern who's been with us, she'll be finishing up in the next two weeks, then I'm looking to add her to the team and then potentially add another intern from Carrington. And if that went well, then we would now have two massage therapists doing the muscle resets, two doing the longer 60 minute sessions. So we have options for people's needs. It's just being able to kind of be a one-stop shop in the best way possible. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Get the massage. With chiropractic work and massage, once you start getting chiropractic work, ki keep a massage in there to just keep everything in place. Does it really matter? Do they just mesh really well together and work synergistically? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, okay. I love the massage work and the manual therapy work, well, fascial work. It just it helps unwind the body and the stress, you know, get people moving better. So I balance them neurologically, get the brain sending the right signals to the muscles. They unbind all the muscles and soft tissue so that everybody just works together synergistically you know versus i if i balance them out it's, it's going to eventually help but like it's going to take longer without the massage and then if someone goes and gets a massage it, it usually feels really great it helps for a little bit but the brain still sends the wrong signal to the muscles they'll tighten right back up so as you said it's very synergistic and that's why we we love doing both modalities together I love that. Yeah. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Of course. I think recently I shared, we're coming into the winter season and I feel like most people will probably listen right now as we go into fall and winter and you know, the lovely cold season is upon us. Now I do believe half of that is because we walk into Halloween with sugar. We come into Thanksgiving with sugar. We go into Christmas with sugar. Yes. So I know that like sickness can come from that. And also I'm realizing right now, like the holidays can bring on a lot of stress for people. Yes. So as we walk into the cold flu season, I feel like you already answered this, but coming in for regular chiropractic care <laughs> is probably a must, especially for kids. Like you work on kids. Absolutely. Just helping the body manage all of all of the things that are going around. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, as you said, I'm a big believer, especially during this winter season coming up, getting routine care at least once a month, if not a couple times a month in kids, we have significant discounted rates for them. Typically they're not needing all the all cores and all the laser and all the things, you know, there are time and place for that too. If, if kiddos come in all the time with, you know, ear infections, the laser is fantastic for helping decrease the inflammation and clearing that faster alongside the zone adjustments. We see a lot of like the youth athletes, the laser is great for that, but just for what you're referencing, optimizing immune function, optimizing your body's 
adaptive defense systems, getting just a, the adjustment, the zone adjustment a couple times a month is extremely valuable. I can almost guarantee they're going to go through the season much more likely to feel great, function great, have far less chance of the sicknesses. Even if they do get a little sickness, it's not going to be as bad. And we have uh, very discounted rates for kids just to get those, those zone adjustments. That's awesome to know. Well, as we kind of are wrapping up, I didn't know if there's anything else on your heart that maybe we have missed or that you're like, oh, I really want to talk about this one thing, but I do have some questions for you, if not. I mean, overall, I just, yeah, I think you've covered a lot of great ground. Uh, I think there was one thing I was going to say just to, to your point of this passion of giving people hope, and, and that's the reason behind what we do. It's so much of the world is negative and even going to the doctor, as you were saying, you don't experience traditional doctor, they give you a label, which doesn't tell you much else. They give you the medications. You don't feel hard. They breeze you right out. And that's what we're trying to change in people's experience. You know, and I'd always laugh to myself that like diagnoses are labels and how useless they are. You know, it's been shown that 75 plus percent of diagnoses are wrong, number one. And they mm-hmm. break down the word diagnosis. Died, meaning two, agnostic is one who does not know, two who do not know what they're talking about. So they don't know what's wrong with you anyways. So, or I'll put, and the last thing is the name of a diagnosis. It's like fibromyalgia. I see, doc, I, I have pain in my muscle fibers all over. Well, the fibro is fibers, myalgia is muscle, or my, myo is muscle, and algia is pain. So you have pain in your fibers and your muscles. You just told the doctor that, and they just told you the same thing back in a fancy language. So it means yeah. nothing most of the time. So my, again, my point being, I love that you brought this up in our interview today, that it's not about that system. We need to break down well to come in. Let's actually sit down, talk, listen, hear what's really going on with you. Let's hear what's important to you. What, how can we get you back to being the best you? And it's remarkable what is possible if we work together and put that time, and energy into it. So. Ah, I love that. Yeah. It's just so powerful and what you guys are doing. So I'm all about morning rituals and and creating and filling up your cup. So I love asking a question of when you start your day, however you start your day, what is one way that you fill your cup and prepare for your day, especially as you're pouring into other people all day? The morning routine, I do the same thing every day. That's huge. And, you know, and it starts off with the most fulfilling thing that fills my cup is, is prayer and time in God's word. So as a Christian believer, that that's how I start my day. It fills my cup from the moment my feet hit the ground. And so that that's what we start with every day. It's so good. It's one of my favorite things because as a business owner, and I talk to a lot of women who are starting their entrepreneur dreams, hearing how people start their day and then being able to relay or take from that is just like, oh, I can do that too. And oh, I didn't think about this. So, so thank you for sharing that. Of course. Well, as we come to the end, I want to chat about the deal that you've, for the listeners, Yes. you have a special and a, I have it that it is $37 for a new patient visit with Dr. Cutting himself, which includes a consultation, an exam, the first treatment and a ride on the Allcore 360. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much for being willing to share that and for the listeners out there. Take advantage of it. I'm going to just put that out there. Take advantage of that because it is, that is way worth uh, probably hundreds of dollars, in my opinion, of what you're going to get out of (laughs) that that new patient visit. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It is over $300 value typically in the office. But I love the mission you're on, and I want all of your listeners to be able to have the chance to come experience what we're, what we're doing, see what the all is all about. And as I said, get to meet together, hear their story, hear what is preventing them from doing what they want to need to do and being who they want to and need to be. And then if we can come up with a plan to help them get that power back, then that, that, that's the bigger picture for me. So if this helps them remove the initial barrier to get in there so we can get going, then I, I'm all about it. Ah. Uh. Well, thank you for that because I do think it is so empowering. Um, I do want to mention, like, as you walk in, it is the most bright and beautiful space. And for anyone with kids, you can bring them yes. because I have had to bring my kids multiple times. And they, the coolest thing about your office is that 
The kids can color, they can draw, and then they actually get to post their pictures. Yeah. <laughs> like you guys have areas where the kids can actually put their pictures so they can see it hung up. Very family friendly. The space is bright, it's so inviting, and then the faces there are even better because you guys, I feel like I can just be family. Like, I feel like I come in, it's so genuine. Um, and not every place is like that, you know? And you guys really have something special that you've cultivated in your in your space and for this community. So thank you. And then anyone who, it was kind of like, I'm nervous. Like, it's truly one of the most inviting spaces that I've been in. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I always appreciate all your support and this opportunity to share with others. Yes. Okay. Well, I know we'll link these as well, but you guys are on Instagram, yep. YouTube, and then your website as well, activechiropracticmeridian.com, correct? Yep. Activechiropracticmeridian.com yep. or at activechiropracticmeridian on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, as you mentioned. Those are our top three platforms. Awesome. So anyone who is listening, go check them out. They have incredible videos. I'm also a branding nerd. And so I think you guys have done such an incredible job in just sharing and teaching. Like you don't crack people, you don't pop people, <laughs> you adjust them. I think I watched one of your videos and that cracked me up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're like, no, we don't crack you or pop you. Exactly. No, it's all about getting the intentional adjustment to heal the nervous system and allow your body to Vibe again, and doesn't matter if it crunches or makes a sound or whatever. <laughs> it's not about that necessarily. Doesn't mean that it's not doing its job. I think there have been a couple of appointments I had with you where one, the the pop or the crack became a lot less, mm. but you could. It's just as effective. It doesn't matter how loud it is. It doesn't mean that it's not working. <laughs> exactly, and then then that, I guess like if I can add one last thing, it's a perfect segue into. But the zones being about balancing things neurologically rather than realigning structurally, that's the nice thing is that the technique could be molded to a wide variety of patients' needs. So if we've got somebody that has a fused neck, right, they had a, a cerebral spine injury and had to have it fused for whatever reason, I'm not going to be able to twist and crunch that. It's not going to happen. But I can use other methods to stimulate the zone point in the neck to send the electrical energy to the brain center to reset the body and heal. So I can still serve them. They're not just a lost cause that cannot experience the healing power of zone technique and they could still get their power in their life back. Right. Or if somebody for some reason is too afraid to get the manuals, I have other methods mm -hmm. and it's not about the crunching. So it's beautiful. I can mold this to your needs as an individual. I am so glad you mentioned that because I remember walking in, I'm like, I am not to you, but my very first time in a chiropractic office, I was like, I'm scared to death for you to like yank my back because I've had so many injuries. And so thank you for sharing that because I do think so many people have that question. Like my mom, she's older, she's dealing with some osteoporosis stuff. Her body's a little more fragile and she's like, you can't, I can't go to anyone that can pop me. You know, I don't want them to crack me. I don't want them to adjust me. I need it to be really gentle. And so I do think that is such an important piece to what you do that you can, like you said, you can, you can create whatever someone needs and still give them the results that they, that they want. Absolutely. Yep. I find that the main yeah. goal does get the results quick, the quickest way possible if it's a viable option. But if someone, as mm -hmm. you said, osteoporosis and they've got a fusion and we, we just cannot do it manually for some reason. I can still serve them. They're going to get amazing results just by taking a little bit longer, but we're still going to serve them in an amazing way. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you again for today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate what you're doing in our community. I appreciate just how you are serving people. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. And thank you also for what you're doing and for having me.